Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to figure out our Horde Knight solution. Uh, so I am over in this end of town here. Our, our little base in the garage is over there. And I've just kind of, before I started the camera, I wanted to look around a little bit and see what the possible options are. And uh, I found this little oil station um, brick building that's 2,500 hit points. And I think that might not be a bad place for us to do our Horde Knight 7. Um, and this hydrant here, by the way, also has a bunch of charges on it. So let's um, go ahead and take advantage of that. So that got, got us eight things of water. Um, there's another water thing here with two chargers. There's actually a little oil shale down there too, which is cool. Is there anything up here? There's a hatch up here. Whoop. Let's take a look, see. It's unlocked. And it's got a ladder down here. Is there any zombos in here? Ooh, there's a working stiff. I don't see any Zeeks though. This, um, this, uh, tank here is... Only a thousand hit points, so it's not very strong in and of itself. But let's open up the work and stiffs and see what it has. Um, so I am uh, I'm finished with my really long work week. It's it's late Saturday evening. All right, so we got some scrap steel out of that. Um, so should be able to get back to you know a normal normal schedule here pretty soon. Uh, well, starting next week. Uh, but I did get some comments from the first five videos that I put out. And so uh, in one of those comments, most of you guys in the comments said that the water sources, you know, like the faucets and whatnot, don't respawn. They don't refill with water over time. One of you said that they did, but it takes a long time. So, um, you know, I'm not sure which, which one of those comments is accurate. So what I'm going to do, of course, is just... Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of water down there. Uh, let's just look down here real quick, just because we can. Uh, there's a burn zombie and a backpack in here. So anyway, uh, what, I, what I need to do, since I'm getting um, conflicting reports, is just kind of keep an eye on it and see, you know, how it actually, what actually happens. All right, let's get up here. And we'll deal with you when you come up here. Give me my arrows back, homie. Yeah, so that was one comment. Um, let's see, what else? One of you guys... Oh, we have two skill points we got to spend, too. One of you guys said I was using an exploit by putting hatches in the door of my base. Uh, and I, I haven't... I, I left another question for that commenter, you know, for clarification. Um... But I don't understand why that's an exploit. But it might be that... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's go back in there because there was a backpack in here. Uh, I If I read what the comments said correctly, he, the, the individual seemed to be implying that putting hatches in doorways will prevent... will slow the zombies down, like as in... Is there something down here? Uh, just more oil shell. You know, like as in remove... Oh... This is not quite what I wanted to do. Uh, you know, re remove their speed. Like, somehow or another, the, the hatch sucks their speed, and then they can no longer run fast, unless I misinterpreted that. So anyway, like I said, I haven't um, I haven't uh, heard back from that individual yet uh, if they respond back, but if they're just talking about putting a hatch in the doorway, I completely disagree that that is an exploit. So anyway, maybe we'll hear back from them and find out what the deal is. If some of you guys watching this happen to know, though, that 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 does indeed... Oh, crap, not smart. Uh, that that does indeed cause the Zombos to slow down somehow, like it takes their speed away. Um, you know, let me know that, because that is not my intention. You know, that's not the reason why I put the hatch down there. I put the hatch down there to block the doorway so I can kill the zombies uh, if... Uh, you know, uh, if they try and get at me inside the house. Okay, let's come back down here. There might have been something down there that we missed. Oh, that just goes over here. Okay, I thought this was like an inside compartment, uh, but apparently it isn't. All right. So anyway, uh, let's see. Other comments? Do, do, do. I'm trying to think if there any, there's any other outstanding comments that uh, I want to address in the video. 
There might be one or two more, but I'm, I can't think of them off the top of my head. So anyway, let's take a peek inside of here and see what's what. Uh, you know what? Actually, we got kind of thumped there. Let's take one of these bandages to get ourselves a little bit of health back. Uh, all that yucca that I got in the greenhouse episode, I, I turned into yucca juice. So I've got seven yucca juice, seven normal juice. So we're pretty good on hydration. Plus, we just got 10 murky water, which we can turn it you know, into water back at the base. Uh, so we're doing good on there. Uh, we're not in dire straits at, on food, but we're not in the best of shape either. So uh, there's really, there's no, okay, there's no Zeke's in this front area. Let's close that door. I should probably start carrying a gas can around with me and just fill the fill it up with those, you know, as I go along. Uh, potato seed. Okay, so if we, how do we know if we know this or not? In vanilla, you have like an open book. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that does remind me of another comment, though. One of you guys said I shouldn't be reading Goldenrod and Chrysanthemum schematics. I should be scrapping them for research points because um, they went on to say that I'll get a lot of those uh, here in the playthrough. Um, and my response back to them was, well, well, well I'm going to read them the first time so that I can learn it. And then when I get them again, then I'll scrap them. So, oh, look at that. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't see I, – I, I think, you know, they're probably saying get them early on so you can build stuff sooner. And I don't, that's not – I don't disagree with that, but in the long run, it's not really going to matter. You know, we're going to get them. We're going to get them all eventually. So my my mo is to learn something if I don't know it, and then I know it, and then if I come across the schematic later, of course I can at that point then scrap it. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, whether or not that's the right way to do it is completely subjective, and so yeah, that's just the way I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's. There might be another comment or two if I if I think about it, but I think that's kind of the gist of uh, everything I wanted to address in the comments. And uh, thank you guys too, by the way, for leaving comments. I really appreciate that. Um, I've gotten some good tips from some of you guys about Undead Legacy that I either forgot from the first playthrough or didn't know, and so you know all of that stuff is definitely very, uh, very appreciated. Is he dead or is he... Yeah, I think he's dead. Okay, cool. So um, we have cleared this building. And this, my friends, is going to be our horde base for Horde 7. Now, what I want to do is I kind of don't want stuff inside the building that the Zeeks can stand on. Can I, can I pick this up? <gasps> wow, check that out. I can pick that light up. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. Can I pick this up? I can. Ooh, if I pick it. um, you know, Oh, it must be empty. Okay. All right. So I don't have a wrench yet. So I'm probably going to have to. Oh, my goodness. That's going to take a little while. But see, the thing is, is we don't want stuff that they can jump up on because then they're just going to, you know, it could get them up to the roof. So I'm going to have to clear all this out. That's something I'm probably just going to end up doing off camera because. Uh, you know, you guys don't want to sit here and watch me bang on this for 100,000 years. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably clear all this stuff out of here off camera. Uh, but let's take a look about, you know, how this is going to go down. So what I'm thinking is, I kind of probably want to clear some of that out of the way too. Uh, but what I'm thinking is that we build a ramp uh, up to the building that the zombies can path up to us. And we try and melee them, but if we get, you know, if, if it gets too hot and heavy, then you know, we have a couple of trap doors that the, or, or, or even just a door door, you know, that's facing downwards that the, we can drop the zombs through. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do to, uh, you know, to try and make this work. So we already got this wall here. What I'm thinking we could do is just build, build a little ramp up this way uh utilizing this wall for support and then um and then just have them kind of bridge across to uh you know to the roof there all right so i'm gonna have to make some more uh, i'll probably just start with wood and then upgrade because it's pretty easy to do that we get xp for doing that and we can use the large stones to upgrade it to the 1500 hit point cobblestone or flagstone i guess it is 
And, you know, if we can come across some bricks or even make bricks, I doubt we can make bricks until we have the artisan station or some other station that we're going to need. Oh, we need a, 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 we need a furnace for that. Yowzers. It's a good thing they were 50 yards off that way, not coming straight towards us. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm, I don't have the stuff I need to, to do that. So here's what, here's the plan. Uh, it is day six, it's 8 30 in the morning. So we're going to spend the rest of this episode um, doing some more looting and, and some of these POIs. Maybe we'll do another um, another trader quest. In fact, I have a trader quest, so yeah, we should go do that. Oh, here's another thing. You guys told me not to destroy the bird's nest because they will respawn eggs even if you have respawning loot off. Uh, you said that that's just an undead legacy thing and it ignores the respawning loot. So if that's the case, then yeah, we'll go ahead and leave them in place and take advantage of that since it's just the way the mod itself works. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Is there something in here? A toity. Oh, a toity with water. Nice. Let's get some more water. All right, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to the base, drop a couple things off. Uh, I'm, I need to get some frames made. We'll come back here. We'll build our ramp because it won't take us that long, and then we'll go do the quest. All right, so I will meet you guys back here once I have uh, enough frames to get that, you know, get our little horde base ramp built up. All right, guys, I'm back. It is noon, so we're going to go ahead and get, uh, I, I cut a, a couple trees down and made some more planks, made some more nails out of some iron that I had mined up the previous night. And now we're going to go grab that stuff. I got some more stone here and we're going to stop over at the trader first, sell a couple things to him. And then uh, hopefully he has some food because I'm really hungry right at the moment. As you can see, too, I have a sprained leg. I got in a scuffle with Zombie Steve, and he buggered me up, but I did manage to kill him. Uh, all right, so let's see. We want... Uh, oh, crap. We didn't even make the board yet. Okay, let's cancel those nails and uh, put them over on that side. And I don't need this running anymore, so let's turn that off so it's not generating heat and wasting fuel. And we have 98 stones there, and... I guess that's all we have, so hopefully that'll be enough for us to do what we need to do. I'm going to grab this scrap iron here, and I want to make... I think we'll go ahead and go with the door, so we need, we'll need we we'll need three planks. Here, let's cancel those again. Three planks and three hinges. I should have hinges in here. One, two, three, or 21, whatever. And, um, and the wood planks. Okay, so let's... And then what we'll do is we'll upgrade this door... Uh, with a scrap iron. Here, let's uh, again shift these around here a little bit and then get the nails going. And I'm trying to think. You know, I might want to actually make a couple ladders too. So why don't we craft like three of those? Oh, well, maybe two. We might be able to get up on that roof with just two. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's grab that. And um, here, I want the ladders too. So once again, we'll shift this around. Okay. I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put these back in here. And we've got the door. we got the stones. And we got a couple of ladders. We'll bring a couple more planks with us too. Well, we're going to actually, you know what? We're going to have to come back here and get those planks because we're going to need them for upgrading. So, in the meantime, let's grab uh, all... This is my money chest now, my vendor chest, if you will. Uh, so, let's grab that stuff. And I don't think there's anything else I want to sell to the trader at this point. And we got to do our, our points, too. I keep forgetting that. Let's let's do that right now. Okay, so we have... Uh, we have two perk points to spend. So, one of those perk points I'm going to go ahead and put into Pummel Pete because we are relying upon our uh, frying pan and this is just going to help with that and then the other one i want to put into 69er right here which will help us break blocks 10 percent faster um so that handles that we are getting close i think where's our our xp level bar thingy i don't see it uh, i thought it popped i thought it popped up does it show over here perks Skills. No, not skills. Maybe here? 
XP. Did, did XP till level up. Fifth. Well, that doesn't really show us our progress. It just shows how much we need. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. I think it. I think it pops in for like five seconds when we get XP from something. Let's let's hit this rock and see. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we're about a quarter of the way into level four right now. All right, let's go run over the trader, sell this stuff, see if we can get a little bit of food from him, and then we're going to go run over. We're going to build our ramp, or at least get started with it, If um, do as much as we can with it, and then we'll go do this quest to finish out this episode. My plan then for tomorrow, for day seven, during the day, is to finish the horde base. Um, and then, you know, depending upon how long that takes and whatever. I might do most of that off camera and bring you guys back at the start of the horde or maybe sooner. We'll see how things go. Okay, let's go uh, take a look at your inventory. All right, I want to sell you this. I want to uh, whoop. I want to sell you all of these. That. You're not interested in that, huh? Okay, take the paintbrush, take all of these. And that gets us up to 514 coin. Uh, claw hammer. Yeah, this stuff is just too darn expensive for us right now. And it costs more money to buy food from the trader than it does to get it from the vending machine. So, okay. Something else? So you don't have any food in here at all. Oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Okay, well. In that case, we're going to have to be on the lookout for chickens and rabbits. And any other sources of food. Yeah, those are just rental machines there. All right, let's run back to our base and get those boards, because we will need them for upgrading. And we'll run over to our new horde base location. How is our food? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, our hydration is great, but the food, food not so good. So, yeah, we'll have to keep our eyes open for small game. And hopefully we can kill a chicken and a rabbit, chicken or a rabbit, chicken and a rabbit, you know, to get some food going here. Okay, so I'm going to grab all of these. We don't, I don't think we need to take the nails with us. Um, I'm going to put this up here. Let's keep the coin with us in case we come across a vending machine. And I think we're ready to go. Okay. So let's head on back over to our new horde base location. Got him. Bow skill improved to level one. All right. Well, we're well on our way. <laughs> level one. Jeez. This is going to take a while. All right. Well, we got some meat. That's good. We can turn that into boiled meat because we have plenty of water. I still don't have a grill yet, so. All right. Let's keep our eyes peeled for more rabbits and or chickens as we continue our way back to our new horde base location. Well, there's that building there too, but I think for night seven, this one we're looking at is going to do the job okay. All right, so let's take our two ladders and we're going to put them there. Okay, good. All right, now um, we're going to take our door and we want to put it down flat. So we're going to, what, what happens if we do it on face? Nothing, right? Yeah, okay, so let's do advanced rotation. What are you doing? It's like right in my face here. Um, here, let's do it from down here, I guess. I guess, yeah, you know what? I kind of, I guess I kind of like that. That's a half block up there, but it means they're going to have, have to jump up a little more too. Oh! Well, that didn't work. Nuts. Um, is it because... Hmm. Okay. I don't know why that didn't work. M unless it didn't want to... 
attached to the half block, but it wasn't attached to the half block. It was attached to the block below it. Well, all right. I tell you what. Let's um, let's get the let's work on the ramp then. And so, I guess we want it to. Yeah, right here is good. And it's gonna be um, a situation where they have to jump up, which will slow them down a little bit, which is good. Okay, let's get this upgraded. Okay, so jump here, jump here, jump here. And then come across to here. Okay, will they will they path over that okay? Here, let's uh let's test this. Well, here we go. We already have a contestant. Are you Okay, here he comes. Okay, good. So they will path over there and they have to do all that jumping, which is like I said, it's just going to slow them down. Dang, this guy's messing us up. Okay. All right, so that works. I like that. That works. They have to, and they have to jump, so like I said, it's going to slow them down. Um, but the thing is, is I wanted to put a door in here so I could drop them down if we start getting overrun. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's upgrade this and upgrade this. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? <laughs> this isn't working out so good, is it? Um, okay. We might not be able to, to uh, okay, I got to think about, I got to think about this. They jump up there. They jump up here. Uh, right. Okay. So, okay. Let's put these back here again. Maybe what I need to do is this. There we go. Okay. Um, just trying to think should I, if I should leave that open so they can run underneath it. They might hit on this and they might not. Um, well, they probably will, but hopefully they don't focus on it. And, like, you know, we're going to have to get all this crap out of the way down below here, too. <coughs> oh, we're getting nails and planks out of this. That's nice. Okay, so now, can I... The question now is, can I put a door there? <sighs> the only way I'm going to know that is if I go back and make another door. So, all right, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll meet you guys back here with a door. Oh, wow, we can make bacon and eggs. I, I didn't know we could make that for free. Very nice. Okay, so we can make two of those anyway. Or no, one. Uh, and then we're also going to make... Well, I should pro we should probably hang on to this, these other two, in case we find another egg so we can make more bacon and eggs. Because we could actually make three more if we found five more eggs. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Let's eat this. That gives us 36 food, so it gets us out of this super bad danger zone, but we're still not in the, not in the best of condition. Uh, let's see. Okay, I want to move that stuff over there. That can go there. Oh, I, I got infected by that jackass, too. So what do we need to make? Uh, oh, mm, no, we have honey here. Okay. Okay, so that should remove our infection. Okay, good. Let's grab our door and head on back and see if the door will connect to those blocks. Huh! 
Look at that, a scrap shotgun and an iron breaker. Hot darn. I think I even have a couple shotgun shells back at the base. Okay. Very cool. We'll take it. Okay, so let's um let's go back over this way, I guess. If this doesn't work, then I have a plan B, but the plan B is gonna require a couple of different changes here. Alright, so if we go on face there, but we want to turn it this way. I guess that works. There we go. Okay, nice. It works. Uh, let's put you on here. That was a nice find. And now what we want to do is upgrade you. There we go. And all that piping and crap I'm going to move out of the way down below so it's so it's nice and clear down there. Okay. Now, I do want to also... How many frames do we... We only have eight frames left. So I'm going to make some more frames. I'm going to build myself just kind of like a little enclosure here. Um, just in, in, and I'm going to put, um, uh, a quarter block thingy, uh, across it. But I, but I, the, the other thing, reason I want to do the frame is because I want to make sure that, um, we have shelter from buzzards in case buzzards come on Horde 7. They might, you never know. Um, okay, cool. So we need, what time is it? It is, oh man, it's getting late. Okay. And this is a fetch quest. It'd be nice to have a couple shotgun shells to do that wouldn't it yeah all right yeah i'm gonna run back and get our shotgun shells and then i'll meet you guys over at the quest place this is gonna be a little tight but we'll do the best we can oh wow we've got 19 shotgun shells that's more than i thought we did okay let's see i want to put the shotgun in Four, and we'll just move all this stuff over here. Look at this thing, man. All right. Um, now that we have this, we should probably put that first point into Boomstick, too. Oh, man, it is... Oh, geez, it's 5 o'clock, you guys. Crap. Uh, this is a retrieve. I do not want to be out in the open at night because we have Feral Sense on, and I'm just not ready yet to be dealing with that. Um, should we do this or not? Uh, it's, uh, let's take a look and see on the map. All right, I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go do it. And if I don't think I can get back to the trader by nightfall, then I'll probably just hang out on the, what in the world? Oh, wow. That looked weird. Uh, I'll probably just hang out on the, the roof of that house or e either that or secure the house and spend the night in the house. So, yeah, let's just try it and see how we, uh, if we can get this done. Okay, we're not super good with shotgun. Oh, shit. Ah, we're going to die. <laughs> oh, crap. That totally jacks up our skills, too. Oh, man. Okay. Well, all I can say is shit happens, especially on this game. All right, let's go get our stuff. We did not need that to happen. We really did not. Okay, so this shotgun only has three rounds in the chamber. That's, uh, that was my first mistake, not realizing that. My second mistake was, because I didn't realize it, I didn't think to reload it so soon. 
It's okay. I paid for my mistake. That's the way it goes. All right, let's get on. Oh, no, we don't want to mess with Biker. Uh-uh. Let's go over this way. We've got to... That's a deer. I don't know if I have enough firepower to kill a deer without chasing it halfway across the countryside. Uh, anyway, we've got... What was I going to say? We've got... Oh, enough food now for those three bacon and eggs. Well, probably more now that we killed that chicken. Yeah, we got four eggs. We needed a total of five more, and we have the one back at the base. So we can make at least three more bacon and eggs now when we get back. And we're going to need about three more to get our food back uh, where it needs to be. Okay, so this is a fetch. Um, and we... <laughs> our time is, like, not good. Uh, so let's just... Get right to it. Um, the good news is it looks like our, the satchel is on the ground floor. Zombo's in here. Is it really going to be this easy? It really is. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Um, and we can get some water too. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, I mean, I'd like to get the fat loots. I really would, but. It is so late in the day right now. I'm trying to... I've, I know I've been in this POI before. I just don't remember exactly what the deal is with it. I want to say the fat loots are maybe up at the end of this attic. So maybe we could cheese it a little bit. I mean, like I said, I would go through it legit, but we don't have time. We just don't have any time for this. Uh, so let's repair this. Okay, so there's an ammo thingy. And there's probably a Zeke in here. Okay, what about in here? Yeah, Mr. Janitor. Right in the noggin. <laughs> Come here, dog. Whoa. Give me my arrows. Nice. Now we got to get this thing out of the way, and then we'll get the loots. Well, actually, can we just reach them from here? Oh, we can. Look at that. Oh, man. All of that effort just for that? All right. There might be a couple more things in here, so let's just go all the way in. And then we got a ski daddle. I don't think there's any more Zeeks in here. All right. There's a popping pills. That was like some lame end loot. I mean, that was really bad end loot. <laughs> oh, man. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Maybe we get some nice clothing. Okay, we got a skull cap. Um, let's get our arrows. All right there, get this. Some oil. Oh, that's a nice little collection of stuff. Let's see what's in here. A junk pistol. All right. We'll have to compare that to our... To our... Um, uh, whatever that other pistol is we have and see if there's any comparison. Okay, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Vamanos. We're going to pick up these as we go along. As long as we don't get uh, driven way off on the main path by Zeke's, we should be fine. I don't know if the trader closes at the same time in 
Undead Legacy that he does in vanilla. I know in Juarez UK he stayed open till like midnight. He opens earlier, of course, in Undead, so that's good. Yeah, we're going to get some bacon and eggs going tonight, you guys. Definitely. I know there's a bird's nest way over there, but we don't have time. There's a buck. Oh, shit. I didn't even see you. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Where's uh? There was a biker over here. Yeah. Uh, is that him? No, that's businessman zombie. Here, let's let's crouch for a minute and do a little fishing here. I think we're reasonably clear. Let's go. Eight charges. Beautiful. Man, I would very much like to kill you, dear. But, uh, we don't have time. We have two more hours. Or nightfall. What's in here? Oh, there's another bunny. Some paper. Can we get that rabbit? Oh, there's a sleeper right there. No, not worth it. Let's go. Unless the rabbit... Is he stuck in the yard there? Oh, no, he's not. He's right there. Come on, bunny. Slow down. Stop, bunny. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Nice. We're going to eat pretty good tonight, boys and girls. Okay, let's go do this turn in. I know I should not be leaving that door open, but What's I'm doing it. Story? I never would have guessed. Uh, structural brace. What does this what do? Melee weapons so degrade slower. Uh, you know, we already have one of these, so yeah, let's take that. And we get uh, 330 dukes also. Next job. Uh, the closest, uh, clear it, shade tree auto. That's only 87. Yeah, that's like really close. Eh, yeah, what the heck, let's do it. Okay. Wait, what? The wrong way. All right, you guys. So, here's the plan. Gonna go home, make bacon and eggs. And the whoops, yep, yeah, I know, I can't pick it up. Uh, tomorrow, I am gonna go finish the horde base. And if I get that done in a reasonable amount of time, I'll bring you guys back and we'll do the shade tree auto quest. If it takes me more time than I can finish that and get an, another episode in before horde night, I'll probably just gather resources. Uh, for the rest of the day, and then start the next episode at the start of Horde Night. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.